Hello Spartans and welcome to a update on Blade and Sorcery. We have a massive news so I want to get through that with you. And just to start off, let's jump straight into what they've said. Well, the first thing that they have told us is, yes, we are going to get swimming finally. Because currently, when you, uh, when you jump into the water, this happens. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in here, but you know, I can, I can Millie Rock and that's about it. And to be honest, that's not ideal. Millie rocking is uh, cool and all, but uh, we, we don't we don't, we want to be able to swim, you know. And being able to do that kind of swimming movement in the water, that's going to be awesome. As well as that, we can actually move around with oars, which is crazy. I've got fire in my hand. That was not meant to happen. But yeah, you can move around with the oars. Uh, I don't have one on me for any demonstration, but you can do that now, which is amazing. As well as that, we have breakable objects now. Oh, we will. We don't have them now but we will and we can smash people with pots and chairs and that's gonna be so great i've that's been, been missing from the game for a, a long time we really really have needed that so i cannot wait for that the next big thing is new dungeon rooms we're getting loads of new dungeon rooms specifically some underwater ones or some ones that involve swimming which is going to be so good to integrate that i cannot wait to see that and unfortunately we are not getting crystal hunt in this update which is a shame i would have loved to have seen that but oh well what can you do now another thing that is coming is more animations in the animation overhaul which is awesome well, that's what we wanted we want more animations to see shield bashes and stuff coming in that is going to be crazy to see new animations for axes compared to maces compared to rapiers that's going to be so damn cool and i cannot wait to see that happen i can't wait to see a short sword come in and then someone come around with a mace and do a different animation yes dude fantastic the next thing that we have is modded dungeon support yes and that is going to be so good for the game that is going to make so much content for you guys for me and for everyone it's going to be fantastic being able to have our own custom dungeons is going to be amazing dude so i cannot wait for that another thing is that armor support will be official so we will have official armor modding support that is going to be awesome so we can see more things like this and this and this and that is going to be great i cannot wait to see what they do with that now another thing we got shown is what is going to be coming in 1.0 and that is a new dungeon, the Dalagarian dungeon and it looks incredible, it's like a desert themed dungeon which is amazing, I cannot wait to see what they do with that. They also hinted at Nomad scripting taking a little, a little, a little, little, a little bit, a little bit longer which is a shame for Nomad people but you know what can you do, you gotta give them what they can and they're doing their best. But anyway guys, that was just a quick update on what is happening in Blade and Sorcery 12. What do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Are you not excited? Did, would you have liked to see more? Or is there some things you think might also be coming that they haven't announced? Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. In a bit.